The fuzzy green surface of a tennis ball may seem purely aesthetic, but in fact, the material covering each ball plays a crucial role in how the game unfolds. So why is there fuzz on a tennis ball at all? The fluffy texture essentially creates drag as the ball moves through the air. This drag force slows the ball down by roughly two thirds after being served, from say 150 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour before reaching the opponent. The nap introduces friction and turbulence to reduce speed. With a bald tennis ball that lacks the fuzzy coat, players would have no time to react before blistering shots whizzed by. The nap transforms the game into a back and forth volley. The fuzz also imparts spin based on how the ball grazes the angled nap on impact. Topspin or backspin add curve and complexity to shots. Players utilize drag and spin to strategically direct balls exactly where they want. Over time, as the ball is hit back and forth, the fuzzy coat begins to fray and fibers loosen. A scruffier nap increases drag even more, slowing the ball further. Before critical points, pros carefully select the freshest available ball. The color of the tennis ball matters too. Vibrant greenish yellow stands out best against the court and surroundings. If tennis balls were plain white, spectators would constantly lose track of the blurring ball during long volleys. The International Tennis Federation uses wind tunnels to test over 200 ball brands each year. Choosing the right nap coat and pressure ensure consistency across varying weather and court surfaces. So while the tennis ball's buzz may seem purely for looks, it's actually a critical innovation. The drag, spin, color, and gradual wear introduced by the nap transform the raw pace of serves into a graceful back and forth steeped in strategy. The fuzzy coating makes the game of tennis what it is today. Tennis ball manufacturers are constantly innovating to optimize the nap for contemporary playing styles and surfaces. Over the decades, fluffier fabrics, more durable adhesives, and advanced pressure formulas have enhanced speed, bounce, and durability. Players even select balls based on personal preference, with some brands suited to spin-focused players, while others promote a faster pace. Companies tout technical specifications like extra-duty felt and high-visibility technology for their nap coats. However, back when tennis originated in 12th century France, balls were crude wool clumps bounced by royalty on indoor courts. The fuzzy nap emerged from the need to control unpredictable bounces and high velocities. Today's space-age balls would seem miraculous to those early players. Even so, the essence of the game remains the same, manipulating the ball's nap for strategic advantage. It's still fuzz that makes tennis, well, tennis. Though we take the nap for granted now, it was a pivotal innovation in the history of this sport. The fuzzy coating tamed the unbridled pace of early rubber balls and allowed for graceful and entertaining play to emerge. Whether crushed by Federer or smacked by an amateur, it's the fuzz that makes tennis such a playable sport.